Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by... Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. Woo. Hey, Maddie, today's show's all about movement, so I'm going for a jog. Well, while you're moving, I'm a grooving. The week is done, and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Fridays. So much to see, who will we meet? It all happens magically in the Fridays. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Maddie. And I'm Taylor. Today's show is all about moving, oh, Maddie. All right, Taylor. I'm moving. Ooh, let's get things started with a song from the Friday Zone playlist. Pony that. <laughs> And now another music video from Flocabulary. Hip hop in the classroom at vocabulary.com. Yo, you kids know about prepositions? Well, this story's filled with prepositions. Check it out. One, two, three, and four. I woke up, got out of bed, put my favorite cap on my head, grabbed my dog's leash in my hand. While I tied the other end to him, got onto the skateboard. I hopped and my dog started running down the block. My dog moves fast like a bobsled. At least that's what my mom said. My dog sped across the street. I was being dragged fast, trying not to freak. Then he ran past Mike, a bully I hate. Mike got on his bike and started to chase. Instead of stopping, my dog kept going. He ran through a park and he wasn't slowing. Mike was chasing after us. I tried to leave him in the dust, but I guess I needed a prep, 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 prep position. It tells you about a thing and its position. When it went down, so now listen. If you're riding through the city, then you're not missing. In a rep, 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 rep position. It tells you about a thing and its position. When it went down, so now listen. If you're riding through the city, then you're not missing up. We kept skating and son, you'd be amazed that I saw more than one prepositional phrase. I went underneath the bridge, it was over water. It helped us lose Mike, so we went a bit farther. We kept going and didn't want to stop until the moment that we got to the ice cream shop. Two scoops on top of the cone. Sprinkles all over it, Holmes. <laughs> After that, we headed home. Yeah. I mean, towards the spot where I rest my dome. Yeah. But during the ride, my dog got loose. He ran up to a guy, started sniffing the dude. Uh, I grabbed his leash off the tight. I saw my dog was standing underneath Mike. Fast forward 10 years later, Mike and I own a pet shop in Decatur. Rep, 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 rep position. It tells you about a thing and its position. When it went down, so now listen. If you're riding through the city, then you're not missing a rep, 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 rep position. It tells you about a thing and its position. When it went down, so now listen. If you're riding through the city, then you're not missing a. Friday Zone. Hello everybody, my name is Sam Bartlett and today we have another stunt from the best of Stuntology. It's a nice stunt. And it only involves a pen. The stunt is called pen swiveling and it looks like this. It's sort of, it looks like a sleight of hand maneuver. I don't know, maybe it is a sleight of hand maneuver, but I'm telling you, between you and me, it's a stunt because anybody can learn it with a little bit of practice. Here's how you do it. All right, here's the beginning. Starts like this, pen trapped by your thumbs. Here's the end. 
pen underneath your hands, trapped by your thumbs, like this. Now it's how you get there, that's the problem. Uh, the way it is driven is you're really holding the pen with one thumb, one hand like this, and the other one just goes along for the ride. This one comes up like this, and then this thumb right here goes between thumb and index finger and rides the pen around till it's caught between the two hands like that, and then scoops around like this so both thumbs are underneath, like just like that. Not so hard. In slow motion, it looks great when you do it fast. And it looks kind of amazing. I think you'll like it. Thanks! In the Friday Zone, Friday. Today's episode is all about moving and grooving. That's right! And what's a better way to learn how to move than with some break dancers? All right, guys, we got the IU Breakdance team here. DJ Stu, let's kick it! All right, guys, let's watch the back. Now we're getting nasty. Are you guys ready? I think we're gonna learn how to break dance, right? Are you ready? You guys ready to learn how to break I'm dance? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, we're gonna learn right after this Friday's own field trip. <laughs> I'm here with my brother Ben at Demand Command Baseball in Ellettsville, Indiana, and we heard they got some pretty cool new technology that can teach you guys the mechanics of America's pastime, baseball. You wanna go check it out? Yeah. See if they can teach you. Let's go, come on. Zach, hey, how's, how's it going, going? man? Welcome. Nice Welcome to, meet to you. Demand Command. We'll talk about pitching first, and then we'll talk about life, because it is a combination yeah. of both. Okay, demand command is a, is a phrase that's, that's a pitching phrase uh, where you command the fastball. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's different ways that people look at pitching. One is control. Control is throw the ball anywhere across the plate. Yeah. And of course, with kids this age, most people focus on control because they don't think it's possible to teach them command. Right. Where I try to teach them command from the beginning. Command is if I have the catcher set up to the outside corner, can you actually hit the glove? Because to me, that's the difference between pitching and throwing. Right. So, so demand command is about learning command from the beginning. So this is some kind of uh, batting cage you got here, Zach. Yeah, so uh, what we try to do at Demand Command is we try to give kids access to the cutting edge technology. Our big investment this winter was in a pro batter hitting machine. Uh -huh. um, as you can see, uh, it has a, a, a computer and a projector to it. And actually, it goes through a pitch of a pitcher, and then the ball launches through it. So it gives the kids the timing of an actual game. 
That way, when they're inside during the winter, yeah. they get the feeling like they're in the game. That's amazing. All right, guys, I'm here with Micah. Now, Micah, what is it that you do here at Demand Command? Uh, basically, what I do is I kind of help with you know, like fielding, hitting, just the non-pitching side of the game. And what is it that the batter is looking for on the pitcher to know where the ball is coming? For me, like when I'm on deck or in, in the hole or something, you know, I always try to focus on his release point. A lot of guys, you got, you got guys that throw sidearm or straight over the top. I try to find out where they throw it from so I can be ready. Zach, thanks again for having thanks us for come. Coming. Thanks for teaching Ben how to pitch a little better and uh, get his batting skills up to par too. And I hope you guys at home learn a little bit more about how to demand and command. Let's, uh, let's go hit some more balls, right? Let's do it. This time on A Moment of Science, we get into the swing of things. A moment of science. Sit on a swing. Let someone push you and away you go. But what happens if the person who pushed you walks away and you want to swing faster and higher? You know the solution to that. Just start pumping your legs, stretching them forward and then drawing them up underneath you and you can make yourself swing higher. Have you ever wondered why this is? Swings work by converting potential energy into kinetic energy, and then kinetic energy back into potential energy over and over again. <laughs> kinetic energy is the fast part of swinging, and potential energy is the high part of the swing. The higher you go on the swing, the more potential energy you have. So even though you're not moving at the very top of each swing, you can think of your height as your potential for speed. It's kinetic energy stored as potential energy. So more height is more speed just waiting to happen. How do you get that height? By raising your legs at the top of each swing, you can raise the overall center of mass for your body, effectively raising the height of your swing. And remember, height equals potential energy, which changes to kinetic energy, back and forth, higher and higher. I'm Mandy Stripe, and this has been a moment of science. Science! And we're back. All right. Well, Chris is going to teach us how to break dance today. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, Chris, there are three aspects of break dancing. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah. Um, there's three um, aspects at first when you first <laughs> start to learn to dance. Okay. Later comes a fourth, what we call power moves. It comes okay. later. We're not a dancer. Yeah, yeah, a lot of practice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but at, at first we start off with something called top rock. Okay. It's the, uh, the introduction to our set. So it's everything up top that you see. Okay. Um, the next one would be footwork. So you see everybody on their hands and feet and they're on the ground. Right. Moving, yeah, moving okay. around. That's what we call footwork. The last thing, it's the way we end our phrases, it's, or end our sets, and we go into what we call a freeze. Okay. So. Cool. So we're going to start off with the first one, I think, and you guys are going to learn how to do it, all right? Yep. So the first one is, what is it called again? It's called Top Rock. Top, top Rock. rock. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, top let's rock. go here. Let's... Yep. So right. this is uh, Justin. He's going to demonstrate all right, it so Justin. I can walk, walk it through it. Okay. So at first, you're going to start kind of in, you know, legs shoulder width apart. You're going to start going out with each foot. <laughs> so it's, just, okay. it's kind of a general okay. movement. Should we yeah. start trying as he's going? Yeah, you guys can jump in and try right, it out. You guys want to try it out? Here, I'll try it out with you. So whenever your feet go out, their arms go out as well. Foot goes out. Yeah. Come on, Taylor, we'll show you how he's a pro. Huh. And later huh. on, as you get more comfortable with these huh. moves, you start doing it to the huh. music and to the beat. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there'll be a beat huh. in the That's background. That's probably a little that you easier. Huh. Yeah. You have the beat going. Yeah. You guys got it. It's a little it. different when there's Doof. music in the background. Doof. Doof. You guys Doof. can get out there. Doof. Get out there. There it show is. Nice job, Gavin. Boom. Boom, boom. Someone needs a beatbox. Sit down. And it always helps if you hop when you go back to the middle. Okay. If you hop a little bit, it makes it easier to move around. Hop a little bit in the middle, guys. That helps keep it going. 
All right, we got some break dancers in the house. Yeah. I'm telling you. So that's how we start off our set. Just kind of an introduction to, to what we do. Okay, cool. cool. And there's a lot more moves to that, obviously. That's just a right. basic that's way. Right, basic good. way. Yeah. Cool. The next thing good. is what we call footwork. It's footwork. A, after top rock, you usually go down into footwork. Okay. We're just going to show uh, two different movements of footwork. Okay. First one is what we just call kickouts. As you see, his legs just Whoa. go out, and he switches to the other side. See, that takes a lot of arm yeah. strength, though. At first, you can use both hands okay. on the ground if you need okay. to, but eventually you move up to just one hand. You guys so want to try? Just change it up fancy. a bit. Yeah. Let's try. You can go to the side. There's a lot of different okay, things you can so do. Okay, so how do you start? Here, let's get down, guys. Both hands. <laughs> one arm out. <laughs> Kick, Kick out. out. Back in. Hand down. down. You guys look so cool. There you go. And as you see, he's not he's not putting his hand down yet until his, his feet come back in. That way he doesn't fall. Oh, I see. Yeah. So he can balance out. himself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. A lot out. of the stuff. It does take a lot of strength, but a lot yeah. of it's just okay. balance and technique. Right, yeah, yeah. And core yeah. strength, I feel like you got to have I think that. And the next oh. move he's going to do is what we call mountain climbers. Okay. It's actually just kind of running in place on the ground. You might actually see this. It's just like a basic like they got that gym down. workout. Yeah. I'm yeah. running to nowhere, Maddie. This is, this is yeah, what will you're get looking you. good doing it. This move is what will get you in shape to do a lot of pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working your core. You're working your arms and your legs. Look at you guys. Okay. There you go. How fast can we go? Yeah. I'll race you. So the key to this is to you do the first move, then you switch to the other Ooh, one. So okay. that we're doing a move back Man. and forth. Gotcha. Yeah. Time. So do we want to try it? Do we want to try it all together? Maybe. Yeah. We'll Put it together. Well, there's one more. There's another one. One more aspect. We'll do, uh, we'll okay. do what we call a freeze. Yeah. Oh, the freeze. Just, we're gonna. Justin's gonna do a, what we call a baby freeze. There are okay. many freezes, but this is the most basic Excited. one that we teach at first. Yeah. Okay. So Justin will get down here and watch how he, when he puts his. Hand on the ground, he's gonna put his stomach into Whoa. his elbow. Oh my Whoa. god. His feet are still on the ground as he's lift, until he lifts up. See, that looks hard. Yeah. I and then the left that. arm just goes out to kind of use for support. That's crazy. Taylor, so. you try that by yourself. I wanna see. What, me <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to try it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Onto your side. Like that. Sure, you gotta make sure the stomach's down. on your try elbow. Try to lift your foot up. Like that. He's got there it. Go. There you go. Like that. How do you pick oh, it up? Oh, snap, Friday <laughs> zone. Oh, man. Okay. Woo. So, cool. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah. Or you got it down? So, yeah, you guys we'll want to try, try the, the freeze? freeze? And then we'll put it all together. No? Okay, well, what do you, what should we do? Should we put it all together? No yeah. one, does anyone want to try the freeze try the before freeze? we do it? Yeah, I'll do oh, it with you guys. Let's do the freeze. Let's do the freeze. Okay. Spread out. Spread your feet out. One arm in front of the other. Down to your waist. Okay. Yeah. Head down. Head down. All right, guys. Look, look yeah. at Taylor's got. Look, he's got it. <laughs> like I said, a lot of these moves are just based off of technique you and, have to, and yeah. where you put your feet, where you put your head. Where you put nice, your hands. dude. Look at this one. You so, gotta have that yeah. arm strength. Yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> Freeze. Boo -boo. Cool. All right. Do we want to put some all of them right. together? Which ones yeah. look best together, do you think? Actually, we'll be able to put them all together. Oh, Justin, cool. actually kind of run through it here real okay, quick. Okay, Justin. Just, yeah, just everything we learn, we're just going to put together in what we call a set. Cool. So all these together ready. make a set. Are you guys ready? So go ahead, Justin. <laughs> okay. Out. In. Out. In. All right, guys. Out. In. Out. In. Now go down. Go down. Out. Out. In. In. Hands down. Switch. Traditional to always end your set in some kind of pose or some freeze. kind of freeze. Cool. Yeah. Who had the really? He had some really cool moves yeah, yeah. too. Should we? Uh, yeah. Should we get some music? Yeah, Can we get some, music? some music now? You ready? Right. Justin will be our uh, break dance leader. <laughs> the lead up. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna dance in the Yeah, it's a breeze. 
You did it really well. Look at, look at that. Yeah, great job. You guys, that was awesome. So you guys are part of the Indiana University Breakdancing Club? Yes. Cool. Yeah. So how did you start breakdancing? Well, actually, for me personally, it was was the club. Like when I came to IU as a freshman, mm -hmm. I was just you know looking at all these different clubs that IU had to offer, and somebody told me about the breakdancing never club. Never done it before. I never did it before I got to IU. Yeah, wow, um, I okay. actually am. Um, I'm actually one of the only ones that's a, a graduate. I graduated from IU, and I still okay. am here to practice with them. But everybody else is still a you student. You guys are yeah, awesome. Yeah, so, so so cool. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, and thank you guys so much. I think we all You guys all a did a really, really all good very, job. All very, very sweaty. I'm going to have to try that at home by myself because I'm too embarrassed to do cool. that. Cool. Well, hey, let's keep the music rolling with another song on the Friday's own playlist. All right. <laughs> Listen to a story, but I can't sit still. I'm trying to pay attention, but my body moves at will. I can't help it, in one place I can't stay. The story's just half over, but my body's trying to say, You gotta fly, fly, blast off into the sky, sky. So I stand up and jump, and jump and jump, I jump and jump so I. Eating lunch with mom and dad I'm feeling really antsy But I don't want to be bad Mom asked me to settle down It isn't time to play I know I'm supposed to stay still But my body's trying to say I gotta slide, slide Down the mountain, slide, slide So I stand up and jump And jump and jump I jump and jump so high my body won't stop talking to me It's a voice I can't ignore If I just get that break Then I can come and sit once more I'm standing and I'm waiting In the long grocery line My body says get moving It's giving me the sign I want to help my mom And wait and get a treat There's no way I can do it Cause I, I gotta move my feet I gotta climb, climb, like a monkey on a vine, vine. So I stand up and jump, and jump and jump, I jump and jump so high. I gotta fly, fly, blast off into the sky, sky. So I stand up and jump, and jump and jump, I jump and jump so high. I jump and jump and jump, I jump so high. I jump and jump and jump, I jump so high. I jump and jump and jump. I jump, 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 I jump so high. Friday. In the Friday zone. Friday. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather and I'm here with Felix. Hi, Felix. Hi, Heather. Heather, Heather. T tell everybody what we are going to make today. Well, today we're going to make something special. It's called the Elvis. <gasps> Why is it called the Elvis? Well, Elvis is a really famous man yeah. who loved peanut butter and banana oh. sandwiches that were oh. toasted. That yeah. was kind of his thing and his yeah. favorite food. Wait, so wait. we're going to make that today. Heather, Heather, hang on. Hang on. Ready? <clears throat> hey there, pretty mama. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That was that was my that was my Elvis. That thank was you. perfect. Thank you. You <laughs> sounded just like it. Ah, uh, thank you very much. I love it. Yeah, well, let's yeah. get started on this, and okay. I'm going to add a little something extra just for you because I know how much you like chocolate. <gasps> oh, Heather, you are the best. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get to making this. Well, this is really easy. Yeah. Anyone could make it. I, I really I think you're Elvis like would it. like the chocolate too. Huh? I think he would too. Yeah, yeah. I think he would too. Yeah. So I'm going to spread this with peanut butter. Okay. And you're probably going to use maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of peanut butter, just depending on how much you like. Yeah. Okay. So we have peanut butter. Uh-huh. And next, I'm going to add a drizzle of honey. Ooh, a drizzle. A drizzle. Ah. It's going to be sweet. Yeah. Oh. There. Yeah, yeah. Now comes the fun part. I'm oh. going to chop a banana. <gasps> Chopped a banana. I am. Elvis should have wrote a song about that. He should have. Chopping the banana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that I'm going to slice good. this really thin. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. A little 
this last one. Oh, no. Those look good. They and they're good. small. And yeah. they're small, just yeah. the way you like it. Just the way I like them. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to put them in a little line here. Okay. Now comes something really yummy. Oh. Chocolate chips. <gasps> ah. Just for you. Yeah, just for me. And for you, too. And for me, too. Remember, remember Heather, we are Team Feather. We yeah, are. Yeah. That's, that's Felix and Heather. Yeah. Good thinking. Yeah. So now I'm going to wrap this up really tight so I don't lose anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like that. That looks good. And now I'm going to put this in the toaster oven for maybe 30 to 45 seconds, just long enough for it to get hot and melty okay. on the inside. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that's good thinking because yeah. we want the chocolate to melt a little bit. We do. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. It's kind of like a snack and a oh, dessert. Yeah. Felix, you're in luck. <gasps> it's ready. It's ready. <gasps> oh, Ooh. that looks good. It does look good. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, I don't, I don't want to touch it yet. Yeah, don't it's touch hot. It yet. It's a little hot. It's oh, not oh, too it's, bad. It's warm. It's just, warm. Just 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to slice this up and put it on one of your special plates. <gasps> Green. And that's all there is to it. <gasps> well, well, Hedda, Hedda. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Felix. Do you think Elvis would have liked this? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Elvis definitely would have liked this, and he wouldn't have wrote a song about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, thanks, Hedda. You're welcome, Felix. <laughs> Hey everyone, here's that recipe again. You can write it down or, or go to our website and watch Earth Eats right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. That just about does it for today, but you can keep the fun going all week long on our website, FridayZone.org. Watch videos, play games, and see behind-the-scenes photos from this week's episode. So remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Do you want to see me break dance? Yes, I do. Woo, Maddie, look at her freeze. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. <laughs>